As we continue developing artificial intelligence to enhance human capabilities, we are also entrusting crucial decisions to algorithms. We've grown used to algorithms choosing the advertisements we encounter or the content we consume on social networks, but now they also determine who is the ideal candidate for a loan or a job, and even who should go to jail and who shouldn't. Algorithms will increasingly influence our ability to access services, yet we know less and less about how they work and why they make the decisions they make. What are the problems posed by this algorithmic opacity? And how can we work towards greater transparency? Algorithmic opacity is the term that we use to explain that algorithmic models are not transparent. So nowadays we have a lot of companies that are using algorithms to adopt decisions regarding employment, loans, and even uh, public pensions. Users, people that are subject to the decisions of these algorithms, don't know exactly how these algorithms are adopting the different decisions. We can draw a distinction between different forms of opacity. We can understand opacity as a form of corporate or state secrecy. Um, companies don't want to publicly disclose the algorithms that they're using. Uh, we can also understand opacity as a form of technical illiteracy if we don't have the technical competences or the technical knowledge required to understand how certain decisions are being made. And then finally, there is an opacity as related to the characteristics of machine learning models, but also to the scale in which they are applied. So this third form of opacity is related to the inherent complexity of machine learning, both in terms of architecture and in terms of scale. One problem derived from algorithmic opacity is algorithmic discrimination. Algorithmic models are trained on very large data sets and the objective is to identify connections and statistical patterns to determine how people decide what are people's preferences. The problem is that if this data set is biased, which is usually biased because um, we're using data from our society, from past interactions in our society, then the algorithm integrates these biases and adopts discriminatory decisions. The fact that algorithms are not transparent means that it's very difficult to detect the existence of biases in the data set. To avoid algorithmic discrimination, it's very important to train algorithms on non-biased data sets. Um, and it's essential for algorithms not to use sensible information, such as, for example, race, uh, gender, um, disability, um, union affiliation, etc. Um, we can differentiate between two types of models. Uh, we have models that are black box in nature because they are very complex, they are very big, uh, and because we don't have access to the internal layers of representations. Uh, and we also have models uh, that what we call interpretable by design or self-explanatory. These are models that are easier for us to understand and which therefore don't require any form of explanation and after they have been trained. A lack of transparency in algorithmic decision-making prevents users from accessing relevant information and to therefore be able to form a decision space and ultimately to make decisions freely. So algorithmic opacity, it's a barrier to exercising our fundamental right for autonomy. Algorithmic opacity poses a specific problem in the labor market. Um, specifically, we find this problem in digital platforms. So digital platforms have been pioneers in the use of algorithms in um, adopting automated, automatic decisions in the workplace. So they use workers' past behavior to determine their access to tasks and time slots. The problem is that if workers don't know how the algorithm is adopting these decisions, they don't know how to adapt their behavior um, so as to maintain their position within the platform. We call this algorithmic insecurity. But not only that, but usually companies don't design their own algorithms, rather they buy them. The problem is that companies don't have access 
to all the information of how the algorithm works. So when we talk about algorithmic transparency and explainability, it's important also for companies to access this information. They have the obligation to know how this algorithm works and they have to share that with workers' representatives. There is research that shows that interpretable, simpler models can reach the same or an equivalent level of predictive performance as more complex black box type of models do in certain contexts. So the question is whether we still need to use those more complex models independently of the task at hand and um, whether sometimes uh, we can choose a simpler model because we want to prioritize explainability over accuracy. Using black box models to solve certain problems in certain situations can be overkill. It's important to guarantee that algorithms are transparent, that they are explainable. So people subject to algorithmic decisions have to know how the algorithm works. They have to know how the algorithm that's deciding if they get a loan or if they get a public pension or if they get a specific job. They have to know how this algorithm works. This means that they have to know what are the variables that the company is using to adopt that decision and they have to know the relative importance of each variable in the final decision. Ensuring transparency um, can be a big challenge at a technical level because one thing is we asking for transparency in an abstract form and another thing is to make this transparency happen at a very specific model um, level. At a model level we need to have tools to access the inner mechanisms that lead to a decision. We need to access the logic of a model which is a challenge in itself and then we need to come up with a way in which we can communicate this logic having in mind that the end user that will be the receiver of this message might not have the same technical level than we do. As in, there is a need to not just access a complex logic, but also to simplify it so that others can also understand it. The call for transparency is not solely linked to an issue of trust or to an issue of control, but is rather an issue of giving people, giving citizens an opportunity to vindicate their fundamental human rights.